motorcycle. What's the toughest part of designing an electric motorcycle versus a traditional gas-powered motorcycle? Um, I think there's, there's unique challenges in both, but for an electric motorcycle, um, it's all about packaging around the batteries. And then um, what we hope to have added to uh, the equation is, is doing it in a way that makes it a, a nice product to own, um, that's got a nice style to it, that uh, feels right when you ride it and is easy to ride as well. So it brings in maybe uh, some potential customers that were a little bit outside the motorcycle industry that were maybe too intimidated to go out and purchase a motorcycle. Who did you design this vehicle for? It's uh, pretty easy because I was able to design it for myself. Um, not being a motorcyclist, I was uh, able to take kind of a unique perspective on the design of the bike to figure out what things intimidated me about going out and going to a motorcycle store and, and coming away with a, a bike. So what did intimidate you? Um, there are a few things. I think the size of the bikes until you get comfortable sitting on them is a big factor. Um, also, a lot of modern bikes are designed very aggressively to appeal to av uh, current avid motorcyclists, and so that makes them very intimidating for a, a new motorcyclist to ride. I know when you drive an electric car, mm -hmm. there's only one gear, right. so you don't have to worry about right. shifting. Is the same true with an electric motorcycle? It, the same is true. We've got a, a single speed or a direct drive. The motor is coupled directly to the rear wheel, so all you have to do is uh, twist the throttle to go and, um, and press the brake to stop. What was the mindset that you designed for? Well, um, I guess there's a lot of uh, layers to this, but um, in my previous design work, some of which was in the medical industry, what was so neat about it was doing something that felt socially responsible, and um, there's definitely that layer to what we're doing here. And I think the mindset of uh, somebody who values a product that is socially responsible and fun at the same time um, is part of the, the psychographic that we're trying to capture with the product. And so how does that manifest into a three-dimensional piece um, of transportation? Well, I think the fact that it's easy to own and easy to ride um, helps make it uh, an easy decision uh, to own, but we've also tried to integrate as much recycled content into the bike as possible and truly approach the design of the bike from an efficiency standpoint to make it truly the most efficient way to get from point A to point B. What influenced you the most in designing the inertia? I don't think that there was one thing. Um, I did look a lot at uh, older uh, classic motorcycles, um, if you, which seems a bit odd, but when you think about it, uh, motorcycles from the 20s and 30s and 40s were a lot simpler. They were a lot cleaner. Um, they were simple frames with simple engines. You were saying earlier, uh, today's motorcycles, the traditional motorcycles, mm -hmm. look like, uh, uh, to describe to me what they look like and what you went for with the inertia. I, I just think that um, when designers are going after the existing motorcycle market, uh, there's a lot of there's a tendency to design the bikes to look like fighter jets um, because that's typically what the young male market is is looking for something very aggressive. And with this bike, um, we didn't want to alienate uh, existing motorcyclists, but we wanted to create something that was uh, had a bit more uh, subtle or refined design so that it was approachable by non-riders as well as women as well as experienced motorcyclists. This is your first attempt at doing this. Right. So <clears throat> what is the toughest, what's the still the biggest design problem in trying to make an electric motorcycle? Um, I think for the foreseeable future the biggest design challenge will always be the packaging around the batteries and then um, the more subtle challenge of making a desirable product for somebody to to go out and purchase and own. So we're going to work on uh, increasing awareness of, of the bikes. I think when people see them out on the streets riding around, then uh, people will say, yeah, that's, I, I can see using this for my, my daily travel. This makes sense. Um, but right now, we've been so prompted by the uh, automotive industry, always telling us that these kind of vehicles are 10 or 15 years out in the future. But um, electric motorcycles are right here, right now. They're ready. You ride one. What do you I like? Do. What, what, what works in your design just from a customer standpoint and what doesn't, do you think? Uh, this bike makes it so much simpler, so much more comfortable, and yet it's still fun. You get every bit the sense of 
freedom that you do from a, a gas motorcycle. Just you have to do less, it's easier. Okay. When you take your bike around, it, what reaction or whose reaction has surprised you the most? Um, I think the funniest reactions are actually from uh, bicyclists that are on the side of the road because um, once you go past them, they realize, you know, they kind of do this double take where they realize that something's different about this bike, but it, it's not until you get past them that they put two and two together and realize that it's because they're not hearing any sound um, that it's, it's a different experience from when a, a big Harley comes rolling past them or something like that. When I think of motorcycles, I tend to think of guys. I mean, right. it just, it's, a, it's a guy vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, but is, could this break the gender barrier for motorcycles? Uh, we certainly hope so. I mean, males are still the majority of the market, but hopefully we've uh, removed enough excuses about the reasons not to ride um, that we can bring some, uh, some, mar some people outside of the traditional motorcycle market into the market, and women is definitely... Uh, one of those groups of people that uh, traditionally has stayed away, but hopefully with the ease of operation, um, we can change that. When somebody looks at the bike, what emotional connection are you hoping to create between the consumer and the machine? Um, I think we want to create the same uh, connection that uh, the most popular electronics have been able to create, that this becomes a device that's integrated in in as a part of my life and as a part of me so um, the inertia can be a statement about what what people think is valuable to them but it's also a product that uh, they're going to be very intimate with if they're commuting with it uh, back and back and forth from work so um, it's a statement of personal values and um, it's just a fun expression of, of who they are and I, I hope that makes it across I mean